Oh, All right, y'all. We're here to talk to y'all about the overnight sensation. Oshino no Ko. That's what it's called? Oshino no Ko? Right? Right? Yeah. Oshino Ko. Yeah, tomato, tomato. This was not on my radar until TikTok. Because if y'all think I'm going to sit there and scroll through my anime list all day, you're smoking. I saw that it overtook Full Model Alchemist Brotherhood. And like any other Full Model Alchemist Brotherhood devoted fan, I went over there and immediately downloaded it. Because why do y'all think this is better than Full Model Alchemist Brotherhood? Now, after that, I went over there and watched it. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's gas. Like, really gas. Like, 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 Little Wayne Light Flicker, like, yeah, like that. Yeah, that, it's, it's that, guys, it's that. Zahn is going to sit there and give you a synopsis. All right, all right, now it's my turn to completely fumble whatever he just said. Oshinoko, it's about a patient of a doctor in a countryside hospital in Japan. She really idolizes I, who is, quote unquote, the main character for the episode. She's one of the most popular idols in all of Japan, and the girl, is terminally ill and she all she could ever do is look up to her because she's not healthy enough to you know go outside have a normal childhood so she just grew up watching idols so i became basically her her role model and her doc the doctor was always there supporting her he took an interest in i too because of the sick patient that he was always with and he told her one day if she when she turned 16 she would choose to become an idol he'll support her too spoiler alert sadly the girl does not make it and succumbs to a terminal illness. So, fast forward later on, there's a, there's a, the doctor has a new patient. Turns out it's I, and she's pregnant with twins. This will destroy her reputation if it gets out. So he, he volunteers to look after her, her pregnancy. Why? Because he's reminded of his sick, his, his sick little patient and her. So they form this relationship. They become very close. And basically the night before a pregnancy, the doctor's about to go home for the night because he knows he has to deliver the babies. And on his way out, he stopped by somebody. He said, oh, so your eye's doctor, right? Now this is supposed to be secluded information. Nobody's supposed to know about this. So the doctor's like, how do you know things about this? And so the guy runs off and doing what he do and doing what he thought was the right thing. He chased after her because he thought he could bring her home to eye and her unprotected and unborn babies. So he chases the stalker into the dark, into the darkness of the night. He doesn't find him, and next thing you know, he's he's blindsided off of a cliff and killed. And what happens after that? You know, in Japan, they think when you die, you have a re you can have a chance of being reincarnated. And guess what happens? He's reincarnated into one of the kids that I had. And from that on, you know, it goes through its perspective of being raised by I. And you know. There's some trials and tribulation. It's mostly talking about I building up her career, and how she wants to be the very best kind of idol there is. But there's a blind side. There's a there's a hard part about I that no one knows. She is unable to love. No matter how many songs she writes about loving or trying to get close to her fan, she's faking all of it, and so she feels terrible because she's just living a lie in her eyes. So yeah, it's a pretty good episode. So, I won't tell you how it ends because you have to watch that yourself. So the episode pretty much goes into depth of I pretty much tries to learn how to love not only her children, but how to love her fans, everything about that. So if y'all seen Oshinoko, don't put any spoilers in behind. But tell us, do y'all think Oshinoko is really good? Tell us what y'all thoughts on the first episode was of Oshinoko in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. And uh... We're going to mess with y'all next time. Blue Lock video coming out soon. You shouldn't even mention that. Shut up.